Hey beautiful people, what is up and welcome back to my channel. I am Jamila and I love all things beauty. I love all things makeup, I love all things skincare, and I especially love sharing my tips and tricks for how to find high-end and luxury beauty products at bargain prices. Yes, we do. If that sounds like something you are interested in, I would absolutely love if you would consider subscribing and joining the fam. Okay, so I have a little bit of a different kind of video for you guys. You all know that my focus here tends to be a lot of eyeshadow, but I love all makeup and I have a new foundation to try. I said in my Sephora wishlist video that I was interested in picking up at least one foundation during the Sephora sale, but my goal when it comes to complexion products is not to have too many. I am very, very aware of the fact that cream products expire a lot faster than like powder products from like my eyeshadows. So I don't like to pick up too many complexion products so that they go bad, but I wanted to buy a new foundation. I gave myself a little bit of a rule where I can add a new foundation to my collection when I finish a foundation. Have I been doing that? Not necessarily. I think I've added three foundations for the one foundation I finished. Listen, I trying, okay? I'm doing my best. But <laughs> I knew that I wanted to pick up one during the Sephora sale. Initially, my thoughts were to either get the Danessa Myricks foundation or the Kosas foundation because that has some niacinamide and it's meant to be like really good in terms of like it being both skincare and a foundation um or the new nas foundation however i didn't end up picking up any of those i got a couple of samples from the store for the nas and the kosas and to be quite honest i didn't like how it looked i thought it was a little bit oily on my skin and i didn't think it lasted very well so i opted not to do that and i'm a little bit hesitant on the Danessa foundation because the reviews are I don't know. I feel like not a lot of people love it. So we'll see. I am interested in new, that new Janessa balm powder thing, but we'll get to that. Anyway, so I decided to pick up the Givenchy Prisme Libre Skin Caring Matte Foundation. Now, this was one that I kind of randomly saw while I was shopping. I think I actually watched Tina from the Fancy Faces haul video and she mentioned this foundation so I decided to grab this one because it is a matte foundation. We are going into the summer months so I want my skin to be a little bit more mattified because I do get pretty oily in the summer so I opted to go for this foundation. So today I'm going to be doing a sort of like first application you see how it looks on my skin hopefully I picked the right shade I did all of this online so Jesus help us and then I'm going to give you guys a couple of updates throughout the day and let you know how the foundation wears. For skin prep, I am pretty much only wearing my Clinique Moisture Surge Serum. It's a hydrating serum that I go in with every day. And then I'm wearing the Super Goop Play Everyday Sunscreen with SPF 50. So that's pretty much it for skincare. I don't have a moisturizer on because I am going to go in with my Bobbi Brown Priming Moisturizer with this foundation. So it's kind of double duty. So hopefully that should be enough. Okay, let's get into the foundation. So it comes in pretty basic black packaging. You have the name in the front. You have some product details all along the box. And then when you pull out the foundation, this is what it looks like. So here you have the Givenchy name written, but this is pretty much the front of the foundation. You get a really nice, you know, frosted glass bottle. You have the name of the foundation here, and then you have the shade details on the bottom. And then another logo on the top. This is very weighted. I will say it feels quite luxe in my hands. I am super duper excited by just sort of like the look and the feel of this feels very, very, very high end. Once you pop off the top, you do get a pump here, standard. So let's get into a little bit of product details and what the claims of this foundation are. So I'm going to read directly from the box and this says that it has a 24 hour matte finish, 24 hour wear, 24 hour correction and 24 hour blurring effect. The Prisme Libre Skin Caring Matte Fluid Foundation instantly corrects corrects, unifies, and evens out the complexion with a luminous matte finish and weightless effect. Enriched with a duo of pink, clay, and annatto extract powders, both known for their mattifying action, the skin's beauty and clarity are improved day after day. The complexion is mattified without shine all day long. Its water-resistant formula defies heat and perspiration for a natural matte finish that lasts 24 hours. The skin's pores are visibly tightened and its texture refined over time while protecting 
the skin from external aggression. This foundation allows the skin to breathe and maintain its hydration, low transfer and non-comedogenic. And it has a little asterisk here that says that this instrumental test was conducted on 20 women. So it was conducted on 20 women and that's why they're coming up with these claims. Um, so big claims, big, big claims. <laughs> this was made in France and it does have a 12 month shelf life, by the way. Uh, in terms of the shade, I'm going in with 6N405. I will say it was quite hard to match myself on the website because on this site, I feel like the swatch, on the Sephora site, I feel like the swatch looked a lot deeper than I thought. It, I didn't think it would work for me because the swatch looked really deep. And then Tina actually bought this shade and swatched it on herself. It was too deep for her, but I felt like it would work for my complexion. So, oh, this is cute. There's a little logo on top of the pump as well. So I'm going to pump out a little bit to the... So here it is on the back of my hand. This is a very, very thick consistency. So you can see it. there's no running or anything. It looks like it would be a really good shade match. Oh, and the last thing that I forgot to mention is that this foundation retails for $49. I actually think that this is really well priced considering some luxury foundations tend to be way more expensive. Like even Pat McGrath is like 60 something dollars. So this feels like it's very on par with other high-end foundations and not necessarily the price of a standard luxury foundation. Okay, now let's get into the demo. I'm, like I said, going in with my Bobbi Brown face base. This is considered a priming moisturizer, so it's supposed to do double duty. Oh, and let me bring you all in a little closer. They're kind of far. There we go. I really like this primer slash moisturizer. Now it's definitely more of a moisturizer than a primer in my opinion. I feel like it doesn't do much to blur the pores or um, you know anything to minimize texture but I feel like I don't have a ton of issues with pores or texture or maybe I just don't care. I think it's both in terms of that I don't have a ton of skin issues other than acne and when it comes to Texture it is what it is skin has texture, so I don't care enough to have Things that make my skin look so airbrushed because it's not real also look at the eyes and the nails I'll tell you all what pilot this is later Okay, now that my face is primed I'm gonna go back in with the exact same drop that I have in the back of my hand picking that up with my finger mm, Looks like a good shade. I'm just gonna take that and put that on one half of my face. So this is my right side and I'm gonna go in with a sponge and apply and just sort of blend that out with a sponge and on this side I'll go in with a brush and we'll see if there's any real difference. And this shade match perfection. That is blending so nicely. That was just one pump or maybe even half a pump I don't think I fully pumped out the entire thing okay so this is like half a pump on this side of my face nothing on this side You can't tell that I'm wearing foundation and I'm absolutely obsessed. Yes, okay. Pumping out. This is what a full pump is, you guys. This is one full pump. And I'm going to, again, just take my finger, apply that directly to the face. Then I'm gonna take this Morphe JH12 brush. It's, one of, it's from the Jaclyn Hill collection. And I like to spray my brushes before I apply. So I'm just taking a little bit of Smashbox spray. It's their high performance setting spray. Just spray the brush a little bit and I'm gonna stop blending this out with this brush.
Okay, so here we have the foundation blended out with a brush on this side. You can see that with one pump, you don't get a ton of coverage. I would say that this is quite light in terms of coverage. I have some hypo pigmentation on this side of my face where right underneath my eyes is a lot lighter than the rest of my face. You can really see the difference. And this didn't completely even out my complexion. You can still see those lighter patches. I think you can also still see some of my acne scarring across the face but this is very, the hell? But this is very, very natural. I really like this sort of natural skin-like finish. Like you really couldn't tell that I was wearing foundation. Okay, I do wanna add another layer though because I want a little bit more coverage. So, and I don't think there was enough to do my forehead. So I'm gonna add another couple of pumps and just blend everything together and come back and show you guys. For this, I'm gonna go back in with my sponge just because I prefer a sponge application when it comes to foundation most of the time because I feel like when you use a sponge, you can really push the product into your skin and make it um, just a lot more seamless. Now, a brush, in my opinion, is faster, so sometimes I will go in first with a brush and then go back over that with a sponge to push everything in. Um, I think one of the challenges with a brush is that sometimes it can leave streaks and I don't like that. I don't think anybody likes streaky foundation. So sometimes the brush is good for getting you started and distributing the product. But then in order to make things a little bit more seamless, you can go in with a sponge and just push the product into the skin. So I'm going back over this side of my face, really concentrating on the areas where I have hypopigmentation. I'm saying hypopigmentation because it's lighter, not darker. And I'm definitely getting a lot more coverage with the second layer. I'm not noticing any scent with this foundation. Like there's something very light, but it's so non-noticeable that I wouldn't say that this is fragrance in any way. I do feel like this is taking a little bit longer to dry down than I thought it would. Like this is still a little wet. So it does take a little bit of time to dry it out. It's not like you put it on and it's automatically matte or dry, which I think is good because it gives you a lot more time to manipulate the product. Okay, so here we are. The face is pretty much done blended in with two layers of product. Color match I think is absolutely splendid. I think that this is extremely lightweight. It looks really natural, even though this is two layers of product. I'm impressed. All right, I'm gonna go finish up the rest of my face and then I'll come back and show you guys the final look and it will be sort of like the start of this wear test. And this is the final look. Let me tell you guys a little bit of the other products that I have on my face and I'll bring you in a little bit closer so you can see the skin, how it looks. It is about 10 o'clock right now. So this is where we will be starting 10 a.m. 
and then I will do a couple of check-ins throughout the day and let you all know how this is holding up. All right, so um, you already know I went in with the Givenchy foundation for concealer. I'm using the LYS concealer in two shades, DG3 and DN3. For my bronzer, I went in with the Cover FX bronzer in the shade Suntan Bronze. This is the deepest one. They only have two. Uh, and it's currently on sale at Ulta for like $3.80. This is a $38 bronzer. So $3.88 or like $4.20, something like, less than $5. So steal. For my blush, I went in with the Chanel Brun Russi. Tried, y'all. <laughs> This is the deeper of the two that came out in their spring collection. Uh, for highlight, I went in with the Dior Backstage. This is Universal One. And I just went in with the gold shade here, which is the one that I pretty much always use. For my lips, I am using the MAC Pencil in Cork and the lip shade Moxie from Proper Beauty. And lastly, I set my face with the Cover FX. Uh, spray. This is their 24 hour wear high performance setting spray. All right, now coming a little bit closer so you guys can see this full face. Okay, maybe that's too close. Oh, I should have said this. Um, on my eyes, I am wearing the Firefly palette from Sugar Drizzle. I went in with this green shade as my transition shade, the black in my outer V, and I'm actually wearing the two multi chrome shades here. Um, on the lid. So I started with this kind of green multi-chrome in the center and then the blue in the inner third. Okay, so this is what the skin is looking like. It is giving perfect skin match. It is giving natural and it is giving glow. So this is a matte foundation, but I feel like my face has a natural matte finish. Like it doesn't look like it's glowy or anything, but it doesn't look like it's dry and crusty, which I appreciate. I love a good natural matte finish. It reminds me a little bit of like the La Mer foundation, which has, in my opinion, a very natural finish. Like this is not luminous by any means, but it just kind of looks like this is how my skin would look naturally. So yeah, and I think that this is the perfect shade match for me. Also, I'm obsessed with this eye today. Okay, so you guys have seen what the skin looks like. I think I'll do a little, yeah, I'm gonna go outside so you can see it in natural light. I mean, this is natural light from my window, but I'll, I'll do a clip of me outside so you can see what it looks like. And I'll do a couple of check-ins throughout the day. I will wear this until about 5 p.m. and then I'll take it off. So let's see how this holds up. I'm going to not touch up. I'm not gonna blot. I'm not gonna go in with any powder or anything. So we'll see if this lasts. They said that this is, was 24 hour wear, so it better be 24 hour wear. <laughs> All right, I'm out. I'm gonna go get my life together and you guys will see the check-ins next okay so i'm outside this is what my skin is looking like i really am very impressed with the shade match i think this looks really really natural i don't think like, it looks like a dry flat matte i forgot to say that i did use my mac fix powder to set my face i'll insert a picture so you guys can see what i'm talking about so i did set this foundation this is not it by itself and this is what it looks like sort of immediately after being applied. I will come back in with a couple more check-ins both inside and outside so you guys can really, really see how this foundation wears throughout the day. So far, very impressed. Okay, so this is my 1 p.m. check-in. Um, I will show you guys how this foundation looks outside as well. So I'll insert some footage so you can see how it looks in sort of like direct sunlight from outside. But I wanted to come and show you guys on my filming camera what it looks like. Again, it's one o'clock. I would say I apply this at like 9.30ish. So I've been wearing it from like 9.30 to one. Not bad. I haven't touched up, I haven't blotted anything. And this is what the skin is looking like. I am definitely getting some shine in my T-zone. And if I did go in with a more mattifying primer that might have helped with it, but I don't think that it looks bad or unhealthy. I think it's just kind of very natural and glowy and still pretty matte. So I'm liking where this is looking. I'm liking where this is going so far. And I will do another check-in, maybe around four and then a final check-in at five before I take everything off. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay guys, this is my final check-in for today. It is 5.24 p.m. So I've had this on pretty much all day. I'm actually really enjoying how this look has kind of like worn off. My lipstick is all gone. But I will say that I am oily in my T-zone, standard. I don't think this is as mattifying as some other foundations that I have, but I honestly don't think that this is bad. Like, when I turn to the side, I feel like, I like this. <laughs> I, I really like this a lot. I think the color match is still really good. And honestly, I feel like if I were to powder or just blot throughout the day, it would not look like this. I do have some peeling in this area, but that is normal. That has nothing to do with the foundation. That happens when I wear other foundations. It's just my skin. I get dry patches with the acne medication that I use from time to time. So that's pretty much it. But yeah, I will be wearing this a couple more times throughout the week to see how this, you know, works. <laughs> I will try it with a couple other primers just to see if that actually makes a difference as well. Um, but overall, I think I am really happy with the way in which this has worn, the way in which this has turned out. Like I said, it is a very, very natural foundation. I am in front of a window, so there is direct sort of like natural sunlight coming in because I really want you all to get basically everything that I am I'm seeing. All right, that's it, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you picked up this foundation, if you're planning to pick up this foundation, or what your favorite matte foundation is. Because like I said, it is summertime, and you can see the sun coming through. It is summertime, and I have no intentions of being oily. As always, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.